Hi, I'm Dr. Jose Colon. Sleep medicine is my passion, family is my purpose, and helping families sleep better through education and sleep science is my mission. In order to learn what sleep disorders are, we need to know more about what normal sleep is, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So a lot of people ask me, you know, what do I think about melatonin? They find out that I'm a sleep specialist, and they'll say, what do you think about melatonin? And really, the, my answer is always, what are you treating? And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about different types of sleep disorders. Some things may respond nice to melatonin and other medications, but sometimes they don't. Quick sleep trivia here. One third of our lives is spent in sleep. And if sleep wasn't made to be important, then it would be one of the biggest evolutionary blunders that, that we'd have seen. Fact, learning and memory are directly related to sleep. Next. Fact, driving while sleep deprived is actually more dangerous than driving and texting. As a matter of fact, they've done simulation tests before where they take a group of, of people, a group of patients, and they sleep deprive them. They take another group of patients and they actually give them alcohol to the legal limit. And then they put them on simulation tests for driving. Consistently, the group that has been sleep deprived drives worse than the group that has been given alcohol. And even then, they've taken this another level and they've given a sleep deprived group alcohol to beyond the legal limit. And they've been shown to actually drive even worse. Fact. In males from 30 to 60 years of age, the incidence of obstructive sleep apnea is 25%. Incidence of asthma is actually 5%. And then the incidence of sleep apnea increases more and becomes more severe after 60 years of age. And as a matter of fact, after 60 years of age, the incidence of sleep apnea between males and females actually starts to be about the same. In fact, a healthy child needs a healthy family. And we're going to do that today. We're going to help today through sleep. So, what is sleep? One time sleep was defined as sleep is the intermediate state between wakefulness and death. Wakefulness being regarded as the active state of all the animal and their intellectual functions and death as that of their total suspension of. And that definition was given to us by the anatomy of drunkenness in the 1800s. We've learned a lot more about sleep today and if you look for a definition on sleep whether, uh, whether it's through the internet or through different dictionaries, you're actually going to get a lot of different definitions. And what that tells us is that we're still learning and, and our sleep science is still evolving. So some general effects of sleep deprivation include many different systems within the body. Cognitive wise, we can have a slowness of thinking. We could be tired, uh, cognitive impairment, have increase in heart rate variability, risk of heart disease, um, just through our general body as well. We can have just decreased reaction time, tremors, aches. Our immune system can be impaired and there's a higher risk of diabetes as well. Um, other things that can happen with sleep deprivation, growth can be affected, risk of obesity increases, and you can also have difference in your body temperatures as well.